uh, coming at you from Loudoun County Cop Watchers. The only, and I mean only, bias free news outlet in Loudoun County. We don't do a smut sheet here. If you got arrested last night, don't worry. Your name ain't gonna show up here. We don't do that shit. People make mistakes, and we don't try to capitalize or earn off of that. So uh, 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 we think that's kind of down, uh, downright ugly. However, our sheriff's department freely shares that information. We have a thing called a scandal sheet. I'll be bringing you a show on that here. Uh, in the not too distant future but uh, I'm just checking in with you guys today letting you know we're filling out our uh, complaint forms it's a, uh, a lengthy process because uh, the situation got way 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 out of hand and I don't want to uh, miss any little little details but also on a second note uh, 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 our meeting with Tim Guider we scrapped that for the moment uh, 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 we will be uh, uh, calling back and asking to meet with Tim Guider to file our complaint and, uh, 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 and make inquiries, among other things, an investigation I'm conducting into the alleged dismissal of a Loudoun County SRO deputy for inappropriate conduct with the children. Now, I don't want to, uh, 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 let's not get carried away here. Nobody's accusing anybody of uh, uh, anything sexual or, or of that nature. But uh, 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 we do have uh, 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 the deputy that we're, we're talking about. We've gotten several complaints for, from him in the past uh, 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 regarding things like uh, uh, um, bragging about uh, 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 the uh, people at, uh, uh, in uh, uh, Turkey Park forgetting to ring up an expensive pair of shoes and uh, ha 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 mr police officer got a free pair of uh, uh 200 shoes isn't that stealing hello uh, um and uh, also uh, uh um you know uh, uh, uh this uh, officer has supposedly uh, i used to date a girl in knoxville who told me that uh, the officer and his wife, uh, uh, she felt like they were propositioning her for a threesome. So there is definitely some, uh, 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 and we've had other unfounded, unsubstantiated rumors about this deputy and his wild sex parties and uh, uh, supposedly uh, uh, has fathered some illegitimate children and things like that. Anyway, these are the people that are on the horse in Loudoun County. Yeah, this is what we have to deal with down here. And uh, uh, we're going to be asking Tim Guider about that uh, uh, when we have a chance to meet with him and see if we can find out some more. Because it is my opinion that any time an officer is dismissed, that is news. And there is almost definitely other people affected. This same officer, I believe, planted narcotics in my car 25, 30 years ago. I don't remember the exact uh, uh, date or time, but it was a long, long time ago. And to this day, I don't know how that got in my car unless somebody planted it, whether it was one of the other uh, 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 people that were around our car at the time. There is some known drug activity at the area we were at. But... Uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, um, not a cocaine dealer. So uh, uh, finding a quarter ounce of cocaine in my car, come on, guys, give me a fucking break. Anyhow, uh, uh, um, uh, just wanted to check in, give you guys a shout out, let you know that uh, uh, we're still working, we're still broadcasting, and we're still alive, and we're still free. Thank y'all. Please like and subscribe if you uh, approve of what we're doing. And uh, if you don't, we want to hear from you too. Uh, uh, this isn't, uh, um, like I say, we're an unbiased news agency here. We're, we're not trying to uh, uh, cover up the truth or make people think the way we do. We're just trying to bring you information. And uh, uh, if a deputy, uh, 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 this is why deputies should be held to a stricter, uh, 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 higher uh, um moral plateau let's say than the average citizen because these deputies have the power of your very freedom in their hands and if he gets mad at you he can use that 
And that happens in Loudoun County every damn day. It happened to me on June the 5th up here. You can see it. Look up the Dixie Lee Shell incident. This is what happens when you uh, upset a Loudoun County officer. They, they throw you in jail and they extort you. And I got beat up too. So uh, 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 they will put their hands on you also. So uh, 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 hopefully... Uh, in the past, I, I've known Tim Guider for many years. He's been the sheriff here. And uh, uh, my daddy respected Tim Guider, and I give him a little respect purely because of that. But uh, uh, um, at, at no moment, do not take it as though I'm condoning the way Tim Guider runs that sheriff's department down there, because I do not. Uh, I, I live here, and I have to get along with these people. So uh, uh, um, uh, you'll you'll see some uh, you'll see me give a little con uh, give them n a little bit of what they give me none of respect. So because uh, 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 we do believe in respect for law, but we just don't believe in respect in the kind of shit that they're pulling here. Uh, Loudoun County is a tiny town. Uh, uh, the population is 55,000, yet we have a facility down here that looks like uh, uh, you could compare it to some uh, 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 small prisons. Uh, uh, Knox County, for example. Uh, uh, I don't, from the outside, Knox County doesn't look any bigger than Loudoun County, and uh, I, I don't have that information right off the... Uh, uh, right off my thumb here, but uh, Loudoun, uh, uh, Loudoun County compared to Knox County, uh, uh, um, I'm not sure. Hang on. We got a computer right here. Let's just look it up right quick. Population Knoxville Tennessee, 186,000 people. So uh, Knoxville is roughly almost four times as big as Loudoun County. And yet, we have a jail facility to rival theirs. And what does that tell you, folks? Just follow the money. That's all you got to do, and you can see that something's wrong down here. Anyhow... We're coming up on that 10-minute moniker, uh, so uh, I'm going to sign off now. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, um, and you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, if you're watching this, if you're not from Loudoun County, and there's any possible way, if you're, if you're going to be passing through here, if there's any possible way you can go around Loudoun County, you want to do that. You do not, uh, and if you can't, set your cruise control. Look at what the speed limit says. If it says 50, set your cruise control on 49. The, uh, uh, all you got to do is look at somebody wrong down here. And uh, uh, every consideration that an officer is told to give will go out the window. Especially if you've got out-of-town tags on your car. They know you're not coming back to fight anything. So avoid Loudoun County at all costs if you can. If not, uh, um, get through it. Do not stop here. Set your cruise control one mile an hour below the speed limit and get the fuck on through here. You don't want to fuck around here. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good one.